Everyone, my friends from PhotoPro have something new to share with you. They've just released a new series of XGO tripods for nature, wildlife, and bird photography. With forest green heads and fittings and cedar wood toned anodized legs, these tripods blend in with nature and perfectly complement camo coverings for your camera and lens. The colors chosen blend into the background and look like natural branches and leaf colors. If you're a bird photographer, keeping the birds at ease is of ultimate importance. Keeping your movements to an absolute minimum and adding a little bit of camouflage on your camera lens and tripod can provide the birds the comfort to come a little bit closer. So why are these tripod legs aluminum? Unlike the black legs of carbon fiber tripods, the anodized aluminum allows the attractive camo colors to be baked right onto the legs. Unlike painted legs, no worrying about peeling or cracking under normal temperatures. Now, while I have read that anodized coatings can possibly start to crack at high temperatures, but it's generally starting above 105 degrees Celsius, which means 221 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're outside and the temperature is 221 degrees, you have bigger problems. So assuming we can avoid those kind of temperatures, uh, these tripods come in three different sizes to accommodate different needs. The gecko, the smallest, the chameleon, and the predator are their names. The compact gecko is a five section leg that has minimum and maximum heights of just under 14 inches and 56.7 inches high. The mid-sized chameleon is a four section leg that ranges from a low of 17 inches to a maximum height of 62 inches. Both of these tripods have maximum loads, the ability to handle comfortably about 17 and a half pounds. Full-size Predator ranges from 18.4 inches up to just short of 68 inches and has a maximum load of 26 and a half pounds. Each tripod comes with an appropriate size ball head that's both rugged and simple to use. No unnecessary knobs or dials. Just lock it into place and you can feel comfortable knowing that your camera is not going to slip or move around. Now like the body of the tripod head, the aluminum ball head is also anodized in the same forest green to add in its ability to blend in with the background. Like the rest of the Exco series, the quarter turn leg collars work beautifully. Quarter turn, pull them, quarter turn back. And that will lock and unlock each leg section. And again, I've talked about this before, one of my favorite features is the recessed screw in the center column, which is hidden down in here. You just give it a little turn to get the screw to come out and the supplied hook. Now, as much as I love the little tripods with their little U-hooks on the bottom to hold your bags, if you have a decent sized bag, it's not going to fit comfortably on here. By having this decent sized hook at the bottom, you can put a weight on that. It's going to allow things to be more stable when it gets a bit windy or when you're rotating your camera for doing panoramic shots. As with most professional tripods, one leg easily unscrews to provide a monopod for your camera or your lens and the rubber feet tips pop off to reveal metal spikes should you need better footing in snow, ice, or soft materials like mud and sand. The legs also have three adjustment angles from the head, standard, wide, and ultra wide, and are also reversible for compact folding into the included carrying case or into your camera bag or suitcase. So here's a couple of the tripods reversed. You can see the legs just fold the opposite direction. This is the little gecko, which fits into a really small package, but even the full-size Predator, which I have right here, this is gonna be my primary tripod when I head out west to Jackson Hole next week. I'm really looking forward to putting this to use and uh, I'll have it blend in nice with the scenery and hopefully get some nice bison and moose shots. These colors work just as well at a portrait shoot as out in the field and the quality build of both the tripod and the head will serve you well for years to come. Now we're talking about these camo colors. It seems like we should be uh, showing them outside. So let's go outside and take a look. Okay, so here I am out in my backyard. I've got some nut trees around me that are trying to bombard me with these big nuts. Kind of look like small apples. I'm not sure what kind of nut tree this is. Maybe you guys know. But anyway, I've got the tripod out here and you can see it blends in very nicely. I've got a little camo cover over top of my camera itself. And the whole idea of camo when you're out and about is to blend in with the background and the camo patterns break long lines uh, so that when there's some movement, if I need to rotate the camera on the head as I'm getting a shot, having these disruptive patterns blocks that movement because birds can see that. Now really the real key when you're photographing birds is you have to be still. Set up, 
get quiet, sit there, don't wear bright blue or something that's going to blend in. And the best you can do to blend in with the scenery, the more the birds will just kind of stop taking notice. So it's a nice, it's a nice idea, it's a nice option. But even if you're not going to go out in the field with this, even if you're not a bird or wildlife photographer, honestly, it's a really cool color combination. It's really pretty. Uh, I love these kind of cedar brown wood looking legs and the forest green head and uh, spider assembly where the legs attach. It's just a nice looking tripod for very little amount of money. So uh, I'm going to be taking this out to Jackson Hole next week. Look forward to putting it to use. Got some new toys to play with. I'll record while I'm out there and I'll report back. So if you're looking for something to add to your holiday wish list, there's another bit of gear to take a closer look at. From Photo Pro, the XGO Field Series. This is the biggest one. This is the Predator. This is the one I'm going to be using. So I'll report back again soon. Until then, be well. Keep shooting. Bye-bye.